You know, it's funny. People always joke that I'm a Bengals fan. But if you guys are fans of me and you watch my videos, doesn't that mean that you're a Bengal fan and I'm just Bengal? Food for thought. Video for today is, can you name these NFL draft steals made by KD Bay? This was sent to me on Twitter. Of course, you want to see me do a quiz. Twitter.com slash Bengal YouTube. The link, as always, is down in the description. Talk about football over there all the time. And we have 50 draft steals to get in 20 minutes. I did a bust video very recently. And I also did an NFL draft bust on YouTube quiz. The me busting was a, something entirely different. That's uh, terrible. All right. 50 names to get draft steals. We have 50 different names ranging from as early as 1953 up until 27, 2019. So we'll see what we can do. I don't see any 2020 on here, but I'm aiming for 35 to 40. As we'll start with the Browns, 15th overall, 1956. That's not really that big of a steal, by the way. Top 15, I get that it's 1956. So Jim Brown, it's not. It's going to be like, I don't know, uh, Otto Graham, maybe. It's not either. Paul Warfield. No. Okay, that's not a great start. We did get a bunch of different names because there are four different Browns on here. Rosie Brown, Roosevelt Brown for the Giants, Orlando Brown Jr., Troy Brown, and Larry Brown. I don't actually know Larry Brown of Washington. Who would the Browns pick be? 1950, Clay Matthews Sr.? Was he even on the Browns? I don't know. He was on the Cardinals, maybe. Or Clay Matthews, like, won. And then, yeah, it was Clay Matthews Sr. And then Junior, and of course, the one that you guys probably know most recently is Clay Matthews the third for the Packers. His dad played for the Browns. I think the senior, though, played for the Cardinals, maybe. One of the only uh, three-tier NFL families of, like, three different generations. Who would the Browns have had in 1956? I named, like, one of their most famous players ever. Jim Brown. He fits that time period as well. I have no idea who that could have been. No, I don't. Cardinals, 1960. Who do I know from the Cardinals back then? 60s Cardinal. I don't even think I can name a player. I have no idea. Colts, 1954. Johnny Unitas was drafted by the Steelers. He might be 102nd overall in 1955. I don't actually know what year Johnny Unitas got drafted. 1955. There you go. But who would have been, uh, been for the Colts? Raymond Barry, maybe? It is Raymond Barry. Wide receiver during that time period. Packers, 1956. I mean, Bart Starr. It is Bart Starr. It's... <laughs> I was hoping it'd be him because I don't know who else I could have named. Rams, 186 overall, 1961. Vince Ferragamo, I think he was much later. Norm Van Brocklin. Oh, I was thinking that might have been it. Who else? It was John Hadle for the Rams? No, he was at Chargers. I think LaMonica, Daryl LaMonica was the Raiders. He's not on here. Just trying to think of like quarterbacks of that era. Who am I missing for the Rams? There's always a guy I forgot. Of like, I remember John Hadle. I always remember Daryl LaMonica. My dad collected cards growing up in the 60s. So I do know a lot of these old quarterbacks when I got those, you know, hand-me-downs when I was a kid. Um, but I, it's still, it's so long ago to remember some of these. We're going to move past Rams 1961. I named some of the QBs I could think of. And I mean, only two of them played for the Rams that I actually chose. 49ers, 82nd overall, 1979. Jerry Rice? A little bit early for Jerry Rice. He might have been like 85. I mean, is it Joe Montana? It is Joe Montana. Cowboys, 1964. Roger Staubach? It is. Patriots is Tom Brady. That's like the biggest draft steal of all time. Arguably, no, definitely. Definitely. Buccaneers, well, I mean, maybe you'd talk about Kurt Warner, who was undrafted, which is not a draft steal, by the way, because he wasn't drafted. Buccaneers, 84th overall, 2017. Oh, Chris Godwin? Yeah, Rod God? 
I swear, it just went when I typed God, by the way. 49ers, 70th overall, 2018. It's got to be Fred Warner. He is so awesome. DK Metcalf is up next. Chiefs, tw oh, there is a 2020 on here. Who would 2020 be? All the way down there. Who's really good on the Chiefs right now that was a draft steal? LeJerry Sneed? Yes. He was, a, I thought he was a third round guy, but I guess a little after that. Titans, 45th overall, 2016. It's got to be Derrick Henry. Even though it's not, I mean, that big of a steal. Great player, but I feel like 45th. I mean, I guess it is a steal outside the first round. All right, all right. I'll back down from that. Bears, 112th overall, 2017. Eddie Jackson, maybe? It is. Eddie Jackson kind of is not that good anymore. That's like a bit of a stretch, but he doesn't tackle, and that's a pretty big problem to have at safety. Dolphins, 38th overall, 2016. That's a pretty high pick. Uh, it's got to be Xavier Howard. It is. Packers, 2017 at 182nd overall. Now, the Packers did have a huge draft steal around that time. Devontae Adams, but he was a second round pick. So it wouldn't have been 182nd. Jair was a first round pick. Bakhtiari? David Bakhtiari? No. I'm pretty confident I spelled that correctly. And he probably was taken earlier. 182nd is super late. Who could it be? Uh, Big Bob Tunyon? It's not Robert Tunyon. I'm trying to think. I mean, Kenny Clark was taken much earlier. This is really stumping me. 2017 is not that long ago. He's probably still on the team. I'm going to come back to that. Well, actually, you know what? Maybe I could have a... Nah, I'm going to come back to that one. I don't know how... Oh, Aaron Jones. Aaron... Oh, Deacon Jones. Why was I not thinking of defensive players? I should have tried Deacon Jones or Merlin Olsen on that team. Or even Jack Youngblood, even though he was much later. I should have tried Deacon Jones. That was kind of a mistake. But we do get it. I think I probably get that if we circle back to it. If I thought of defense. But Aaron Jones, how could I not think of him? Didn't even think of their running back. 49ers. 2017. Gotta be George Kittle. 146th overall. Saints, 67th overall. 2017. Marcus Williams? This spelled Williams. It's not him. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson? A little bit too early. Like, slightly too early, I think. Oh, Teron Armstead, probably, out of Arkansas Pine Bluff. No? Interesting. Who would the Saints have taken that is a huge... St Michael Thomas. Not Michael Thomas. Michael Thomas was... 2016. Who would the Saints have taken? It can't be receiver. Based on who they've had. Alvin Kamara. Yeah, that's right. Why do I not think of running backs? Chiefs, 160... Uh, 165th overall, 2016. Tyreek Hill. Cowboys 135th, 2016. Dak? It is Dak Prescott. Ray and Dakota Prescott. Bills in 1985. Bruce Smith? It's not. Jim Kelly? No. Andre Reid? I, I was going to get it eventually. Broncos in 1995. Ooh. Rod Smith? I've already tried... I mean, oh, Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp was 1990. He's next. So that's that's coincidental. I was thinking of Terrell Davis, but he was. Why did I think he was a little bit earlier than 1995? He played so short in the league. He played like five or six years. We also got Willie Davis. That was the Browns guy. 1956. I don't know who that is. I'm going to be honest with you. Buccaneers, 1993. Warren Sapp. I think he was a first rounder. He was taking like top 10. Uh, Simeon Rice. Uh, 
Derek Brooks. We got Brandon Brooks, who I probably don't name for the Texans in that spot, by the way. Buccaneers, 1993. It's got to be someone on those good Bucks teams. Simeon Rice, Derek Brooks. Is, am I missing a running back? I don't think so. Mike Allstott. It's not Mike Allstott. He would have been maybe a little bit later anyway. But I'm trying to think. 1993. Third rounder. 1993. John Lynch. It is John Lynch. All right. Chiefs in 2004. Why? Uh, Larry Johnson, maybe? It's not. He only really had like two good years. Two great years, really. It's not Priest Holmes. He was undrafted out of Texas. I'm gonna, I typed it anyway. Just got to be cu uh, careful. Cover my bases. 2004. Chiefs. 2004. Could it be Tony Gonzalez? No. Yeah, I thought he was taking a bit higher. And also a bit earlier than 2004 as well. Um, they have a big time receiver. Dante Hall was not a big time receiver, but I thought maybe he'd be included. Also, he would have been a little bit earlier as well. I'm really struggling with this one, huh? Chiefs, 2004. He would have been, let's say, good in like 2007, 2008. Dwayne Bowe, he would have been a little bit later than 2004. Who am I missing? Eddie Kennison. Not that he would have been a huge draft steal. I don't know what the, the qualifications to make this list are, by the way. So I'm just going to keep trying, guys. What about defense? Derek Johnson. Uh, Tom Bahali. Justin Houston would have been l later than 2004. So would Tom Bahali, to be fair. Who am I missing? Jared Allen. Yes! Finally got to it. We also got Keenan Allen later. Just had to work my way to the defensive side of the ball. Eagles fourth round supplemental draft 1987. I mean, Randall Cunningham, he went to the Eagles. So he started with the Vikings, right? I think so. Eagles 1987. Reggie White. That felt about right, by the way, but he would have been maybe a little bit later than 1987. Who else? Who else am I missing? Eagles probably in the 90s. Eagles. Chris Carter, maybe. Yes. Trying to think of guys that started out on the Eagles. He was a guy that went to the Vikings, obviously. That's where you probably know him. Ooh, happy I got that one. Cowboys 2005, real late. Gotta be Tony Romo. Oh, it's not. Uh, Miles Austin. Ooh, it's not Miles Austin? Man, I keep thinking I'm getting it. Uh, Felix Jones. <laughs> That's not gonna be it. Cowboys 2005, Demarcus Ware. I think he was taken much earlier. Even though he went to Troy. Cowboys 05. Oh, Witt, maybe. Not Jason Witten. I think he also went higher. I think he was a third round pick. And in like 2003? 2004? It's not a tight end. Could it be a receiver? I don't think so. Could it be a running back? It could be a running back. I mean, it's not DeMarco Murray. It's just too early. And Mar Mary and Barbara would not be on the list. 2005. That was the Mario Williams draft. So think about someone who's that old. Could it be a corner? How am I not going to get that one? I mean, Jay Ratliff, he was an all pro. It is Jay Ratliff. Why is he on this list? He was a one-time All-Pro. Uh, the reason I know that, Jeremiah Ratliff is his real name. Um, is I've been doing some of the draft classes for a future video. So I have gone over some of these, but like eh, a few weeks ago. Yes, it's a good memory though. 
Jay Ratliff. He was pretty good. Went to the Bears later, if I recall. 49ers in 1983. Roger Craig. I don't know why he would be on here. 49ers. 1983. It's a legendary draft class, but I don't know about 289th overall. 49ers, please. Steve Young. I only thought that. I know he was drafted by the Bucks, but then there was some weird action. I, I don't know why I, I typed Steve Young. Don't worry about that. It's not going to be Dwight Clark. I'm just trying to think of Niners from that time. Charles Haley? Oh, I thought I, I nailed it. I really did. 40, he would have been a little bit later, though, probably. 1983. It's got to be someone on defense, right? Ronnie Lott? Ooh, thought I nailed it. We're going to move on. Eagles, 1986. Ron Jaworski. He was more like 70s, though, right? I'm running out of time. That's why I'm trying to, I kind of want to go through this. I mean, Harold Carmichael, is he one of these Eagles? He's the next one, 1971. Equals 1986. I mean, Herb Edwards is in my head. I don't know why it would be him. <laughs> Please. Plus, Cardinals 2013. Uh, David Johnson. He was later out of Minnesota and not 2013, I don't think. Uh, maybe he was actually 2013. 2014? Right around then. Who would be for the Cardinals at that time? I mean, Cardinals. 2013 is a while ago. Dude, I, I just feel like I don't have the time to get through all these. I do. I just got to focus. I have time. Cardinals 2013. Is it a quarterback? No. Is it a running back? Beanie Wells. It's not Beanie Wells. I'm such an idiot. I mean, why would I even type that? That doesn't make any sense. Receiver. Could it be a receiver? Maybe. I'm not even thinking about offensive linemen, really. Jared Veldier. It's not really a draft steal. He was good for a bit. I'm going to move past that. Falcons 2015. Deion Jones. He was taken a bit earlier. He was like top of round three. And it was like maybe 20. He was right around then. Uh, maybe a little bit after. Falcons 2015. Grady Jarrett maybe fits that. Yes. Ravens 2016. Matt Judon. Nice. Grand Valley State. Bills 2017. It's got to be... I almost typed Stefan Diggs. Stefan Diggs could be on here as a Viking. Yeah, he was a six-round pick out of Maryland. Uh, but Bills, though. Bills. Who's good on the Bills? 2017. Receiver, no. Tight end. Dawson Knox, but why would he be on here? Probably has to be a defender. Travis White was taken earlier. Micah Hyde started with the Packers. Type him anyway. It is stupid. Um, Levi Wallace. Why would he be on here? Jordan Poyer. Start with the Browns. I'm just starting to freak out for time. I mean, do you call Deion Dawkins a draft steal? That'd be kind of crazy. Bills 2017. I gotta get. Gotta get that. Could it be a running back? Not really. Who's really good on their defense? Matt Milano? Yes. Uh, Panthers, ninth overall is not a steal. I don't care who they got. Ninth overall is not a steal. That's fine value at absolute worst. At absolute best. Panthers, ninth overall, 2012. I mean, are you going to call Keekly a draft steal? I misspell that. I did. For some reason, I always think it's EU. It's not a steal. That's it. That's insane. I get that he's an amazing player. Could be a Hall of Famer. Insane to say it's a steal at nine. Bengals, 2010. 2010. Oh, uh, that's Geno Atkins. Nice. Uh, Lions, 2017. Who could be a steal for the Lions? Mahi Warwarie. It's not him. He's later. I'm just running out of time. Lions 2017. 
Frank Ragnow, he was taken earlier. He was a first rounder. Anything on the O-line? Can't be. D-line. Deshaun Hand? No. Is he even on the Lions anymore? Maybe not. That one feels really gettable, though, just because it's, like, not long ago at all. Can't be a running back, really. Is it a receiver? Probably not. Can't be TJ Hawkinson. He was taking top 10. Defense. Who's good on their defense? Oh, man. The timer's going crazy. Jaguars. Got to be Maurice Jones-Drew. Raiders 2019. It's not long ago. That's got to be... Raiders 2019 is not long. Rams 2017, 69th overall, nice. I just didn't have enough time, man. Can I focus on one of these? Raiders 2019, who is that? I just, ah, man, I just didn't have enough time. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's see who I missed out on. Larry Wilson of the Cardinals. I should have guessed just because he's Larry Wilson is like the all-time leader in interceptions are right up there with Paul Krause, right? Uh, Cardinals legend. 49ers is Jesse Sapolu. I've never heard of him. Seth Joyner, I've heard of him with the Eagles. I don't think I'll pull that name out. Tyron Matthew was drafted by the Cardinals. It's right. He's just been all over, I kind of want to say, but Cardinals, Texans, Chiefs. Kenny Galladay, definitely a steal on the Giants actively. I know. I was just trying to think of active Lions, and I forgot that both their receivers left in free agency. Max Crosby, yeah, that qualifies. Cooper Cup, Jason Kelsey. God. I get all of those with more time. Listen, I just, uh, I really did lose under the pressure because it got to like a minute left as I got to the Cardinals and then I couldn't, I gave really none of them any attention that they needed and I didn't perform quite as well as I wanted to. Listen, I did real well. I mean, I worked my way through the entire left side, had some help from guys like typing in Davis and Brown, right? But Listen, I mean, what are you going to do? I think I honestly get every single one of these with more time, except for Seth Joyner and Jesse Sapolu. And maybe I even get Seth Joyner. Probably not. Probably not. I definitely do not get Jesse Sapolu on any planet. I've literally never heard of him. Never in my life. Jesse Sapolu. Center and guard. Two-time Pro Bowler. This this is who we choose. A two-time Pro Bowl offensive lineman in the 80s and 90s. Had a great long career, it looks like. That's nice. That's an impossible name to get. In, unless you're a diehard Niners fan. Like, I guess I would know some Giants offensive linemen randomly from that time. Like, but or I guess even more in the 90s. But I'm not out here guessing Bart Oates. Right, if if I see Giants like 1986, I'm not guessing Bart Oates. And Bart Oates was a five-time Pro Bowler, by the way. Went undrafted. So I mean, I guess that, that's even more of a notable name. That's who knows Bart Oates. Bart Oates, his mom, and Giants fans who are older than me. But uh, I mean, I guess I just came up with the name just talking about it. But that's gonna do it for the video, guys. This was a fun one. I. I wish I had more time. I know I had 20 minutes. I should have been able to do it. But uh, that goes to show you that there is a challenge of actually doing the quiz where I think I would get one score. I think I legitimately get minimum 46 out of 50 if I just did the quiz. And then doing it for a video is a different thing. I'm not making excuses. I'm just saying, even though it's going to sound like I'm making excuses, but I'm just trying to be transparent. I, I think I recognize what my ability is and 46 i mean that maybe gives me a free miss on on galladay or tyron matthew or jason kelsey or cooper cup and i mean four of them right i think i get at least four more of those names on the list and that would bring me up to that 46 number but that's gonna do it for this video guys thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one take it easy this is
see me high step to the end zone. My life like a game Nintendo. Playing with the best, let them know. Get off the track, the train's coming through. Yeah. Promise you get in my way, then you best believe I'ma just run over you. Yeah, yeah. I'ma turn taking it back to the house. Defense a joke, I'm laughing so loud. Speedbird's good.